we're going to go over number bonds again, but today we're going to use number bonds to make addition sentences. We're going to start with a number bond. Seven is my whole number. Here are my bonds. Five is one part and two is another part. My whole number is seven. My parts are five and two. With number sentences, we need symbols and we need numbers. Since these are my parts, I'm going to put these two together and put the symbol in between. This will give me five plus two and this can give me an addition sentence. If I write it out, I'll write the five first, write my symbol plus, write my add in two, and this is my equal sign. This is gonna tell me right after what the sum of five and two is. I'm going to write seven because that's my whole number. So I have my part five that matches the part on the number bond. My other part is two, which is the other part of the number bond, which equals seven, and that's my whole number. Let's try another one. This time, my whole number on my number bond is 10. I have my number bonds here, and one of my numbers is going to be four, and my other number is going to be six. If I have a number bond like that, I can just write my parts first, again putting the plus on the inside, and copying the numbers down for the number sentence. Four plus six, equals 10. Now, there's another way to make number sentences. I can also write the whole number first. 10 equals, and then I can put my parts, four and six. 10 equals four plus six. As you know, this gives us the same type of answer, the same number sentence, but it's putting the whole first instead of at the end. Let's do some more. This time my whole number will be five. I have my bonds. I have a one as a part and four as the other part. Now I want to make sure that my bonds are touching the squares where the number parts are so that we can make sure they bond together to make the whole number. I copy the parts down here to make my number sentence. One plus four equals five. I can also switch the add-ins or switch the parts to make a number sentence. I can put this part first, four plus, and then this part second, which is one, equals five. The whole number never changes. It stays the same. My parts can switch, but still equal five. And then again, I can also put the whole number first. Five equals one plus four. This also works with switching the parts. Five equals four plus one. I'm going to do one more. This is where we use the horizontal number bond. If we have our parts here, and I have a nine and a zero, 
Here are my bonds. Here is my hole. My hole is going to be nine. My number sentence is going to consist of the numbers of the parts that are in the number bond. That's going to be nine plus zero equals nine. So I can do it this way and I can also do it nine plus zero equals nine. There are different ways to do number bonds. We can do them vertically and we can do them horizontally, just like our number sentences. We can take the number bonds and make our number sentences horizontal or vertical. And that's how you use number bonds to make your number sentences with addition.